another episode. Stick around and escape the ordinary with us. Dolphins, even a dingo running on the beach. Hello guys, we are finally in Broome. It is absolutely beautiful here. We are currently set up on Cable Beach, just enjoying some late lunch um, and watching the sunset. We spent the entire day at Gantham Point, so we'll show you some videos of that and the rest of Broome as well. We cannot wait to show you. This place is absolutely beautiful and we love it here so, so much. Um, and yeah, stay tuned guys. It's gonna be an amazing video. Alrighty guys, we're at Ganthus Point. I'm gonna go check to see if there's any props before we jump in. finally made it out of bed and to the beach this morning you would have seen that we made coffee with our new espresso machine from Bellman it's super cool you fill it up and put it on the stove and then it froths milk and everything um, I can't wait to show you more videos of it It was so much fun to use um, but yeah pretty much we have made our way to coconut wells today we are at the beach right now waiting for the tide to come in so this place is really really special pretty much at high tide the entire lagoon it like creates a lagoon and everyone chucks their floaties in and you drift right back to the start so i'm so so excited we're going to get some awesome shots out in the water we've got our waterproof bags with us and everything so it's going to be so much fun um so yeah pretty much we're just parked up waiting for the lagoon to get a little bit higher i think we have to start walking an hour before high tide so i think we've got about half an hour or so before we have to leave um but yeah they've also got really cool rock pools here that fill up with water just after high tide as the tide starts going back out so we'll get some sick shots of that as well um cannot wait to show you everything here guys this place is so beautiful it's like 30 minutes out of broom um and yeah they've got some really great places here but every single place you have to swim at and like it's quite hard to be croc wise when there's crocs in the water and you have to swim i mean we don't have to but obviously you want to because this place is beautiful how could you not <laughs> but yeah we'll show you once we're there see you guys this is what it looks like now and i'm pretty sure this area is meant to pretty much fill up with water um and then yeah we drift right on through so i'm so excited we've shoved some floaties in the car and we've got some in the canopy as well so that's what we'll be on we go guys <laughs> 
I don't know where to find the start of the lagoon. I think it's about a K walk in. So walk to the dunes, turn left, and there you go. You're on your way. That's it. <laughs> got our floaties. Got our floaties. Got our island bound singlets, shark <laughs> tees. We've got our bucket hats ready to go. It's all on our island bound happening. website. And um, it's all happening. So stay you. tuned. We're going to absolutely send it down. Done two knots. <laughs> Alrighty guys, if you're wondering what this is behind me, it's an Eco X gear speaker. It's got the solar, so when I'm walking it's charging. It's got the lights and it's waterproof. So what a perfect time to use it while we sail down this stream. So let's go. Check it out, there's a few people here, so we'll see if we can bypass them. <laughs> We're about to jump in, and it's so bloody clear, bluebird day, it's amazing. <laughs> and the water is so warm, I think it's like 32 degrees today. Ah, all relaxing until something bites my way down. Definitely something to do with the family or friends or by yourself even. Now we're on the second part. You just sort of gotta just walk through the shallows and then get to the deep zone and then jump on it again and float away. Wow, we're at the end guys. That was amazing. Phew. Hey guys, so we are back at the campsite in Broome, Main Town. We are still staying at the overflow tonight. We were thinking of heading down to one of the free camps, but we've decided to stay in town because there's a little bit more we want to do around the area. But anyway, we had an amazing day. We went and checked out Coconut Wells. Unfortunately, we didn't make it to the rock pools in time um, to see like, them fill up the rock pools, but we are going to go visit it another day. Um, but yeah, the rest of the afternoon we spent on Cable Beach. We will we'll put some drone videos in here of that now. spending every single afternoon there it's like the best thing to do in the afternoon to watch the sunset um, the sunsets in Broome are just next level like honestly I just cannot explain it you have to come here and just watch them they're just so so beautiful and they only get better as the Sun goes down even further they just last for so long so yeah we just did that um, and now we're back at the campsite Nathan is cooking dinner we are having the steak and veggies and then we're going to go to the outdoor cinema in Broome and watch the Barbie movie because we've been wanting to see it so bad. So, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. And then we will update you tomorrow um, and see what we get up to. We might go look at Rory Buck Bay tomorrow and then check out Coconut Wells as the tide is going out again. So stay tuned for that. See you guys. Morning, guys. So we've come back down to Coconut Wells today to check out the rock pools. Um, looks like there's a little bit of water in it. So we'll get some drone shots um, and I will show you what it looks like. Looks pretty beautiful today. The weather is amazing. The sun is out. So yeah, stay tuned. <music> All 
Alrighty, we're on the rocks. We just gotta walk across, they're quite sharp, but if you're wearing your berths, you're all sweet. There's Beck, there's Beck over there. Trying to find a good spot for a drone shot. Hey, oh yeah, Beck, look at this. we've just pulled up to Roebuck Bay it's just here we're gonna walk down and take a look it looks so beautiful at the moment the tides all the way in so you get those beautiful colors and the trees and everything so yeah really keen to go and have a look Nathan's lost his Burks he's left them somewhere second pair doesn't even remember when he took them off so yeah we're gonna go take a look and we'll show you when we're there Seriously, got to be one of the best beaches. <laughs> what the hell? Hopefully, we can get the drone up and get some really, really cool shots. I don't know if it's restricted here, so see what we can get. Oh, this is amazing. We're at Roebuck Bay. This is picture perfect. How beautiful is this beach What you us? see on this camera and what you see on the phones on Instagram is exactly what it looks like. It in is person. insane. Just insane. The bluest water, the reddish rocks and like who planted this tree? It's <laughs> just like perfect. Anyway we're gonna get some drone shots hopefully and we'll show you guys what it looks like. Let's go. Yo! This beach is literally amazing. The sand is so hot on my feet. But comment, comment down below if you're like me. I literally lose every single pair of shoes, especially thongs. I just had expensive burks, left them at the beach somewhere. And now I've literally got nothing. So I'm now gonna explore Oz. I'm actually doing a challenge to myself. I'm gonna see how long it takes me to not wear shoes until I'm like, I need shoes. I'm just gonna suss it out. Tell you what, I'm not swimming in here. <laughs> Being a little more crocodile, crocs wise at this point. Alright, guys, we've gone back to one of the beaches that I think I might have put on, and oh my god, I can see them in the sun. It's about 4:35 o'clock, and the water's about to sweep those thongs away. So I finally found them. Don't have to do the challenge just yet. today we've just done some things to prepare ourselves for the Gibb River Road like getting some bolts and stuff um, we did all our washing this morning stocked up on food so yeah ran all the essential errands before hitting the Gibb just so we make can make sure we are ready because we're gonna hit it in about two days so pretty much we've left we're at Willie's Creek right now we're checking out the Pearl Farm so we'll bring you in with us and show you what it's about we've heard some pretty cool things about this place but yeah we will show you what we get up to for the rest of the week but it's going to be pretty exciting some of the campsites are going to and stuff so stay tuned a few people um also have put their ties down because of the corrugation but the corrugation actually isn't that bad at the start maybe 200 meters so you probably think it's going to be the whole time but it's not it's only like 200 meters and then it goes back to normal sand yeah. Oh my 
Oh god, I should work here. <laughs> so apparently there's a resident three meter salty so or a crocodile that lives at Willy Creek. So we're gonna go try and find him. <laughs> Where's he at? Here you crocky crocky. It's probably over there. We just had a look in the shop. It was pretty cool. Pearls are a bit different. Look sort of like a diamond but a pearl. Anywho. The most expensive pearl we found in the shop was 55000 Pretty expensive for a pearl, but, you know, might have to sell the car to buy it for Beck. <laughs> um, and then now we are off to find a free camp spot, so stay tuned and we'll see where we go next. Yeah. We've just put into the campground at Willy Creek just behind me. It's really really beautiful here um, Too bad you can't swim in the water here because it is so so hot But there is a croc somewhere in there. Don't know where but I know he's around I don't know if we'll stay at this camp spot or keep driving to Bard Creek um, A lot of people have told us Bard Creek's a little bit nicer and a better stay So I think we'll keep driving but this place is definitely beautiful and definitely worth coming to have a look at not much happening at the pearl farm to be honest though you can go do a tour and it's only 30 dollars per person which would be pretty cool to do um we didn't really want to do it so we just had a look around the store and stuff and like the little workshop and then just walked out but that's pretty much all it is it's just like a little museum and then yeah drove down a little bit to check out the beach um which is really really cool and definitely worth looking at oh nice up to camp <laughs> this spot is so nice all right guys we've just pulled into Bard Creek it is absolutely insane here such an awesome free camp um, yeah, we're just parked up on the beach and a little bit further down is like the creek and the ocean and it's really really cool people are catching some massive fish down there so we want to go give it a crack a little bit later um, but yeah now we're just gonna settle in enjoy the beautiful sun the drive into Bard Creek was pretty corrugated not gonna lie um, but once you get off the main road and take the track into where like you have to go to Bard Creek it's not as bad it's just a little bit of forward drive so you do definitely need a forward drive to get through to it um, but yeah pretty insane here guys honestly just wishing we had a tinny right now to go out in that ocean because everyone has tinnies and I just feel like it would be so much fun with a tinny so if you have one go you definitely get one though I'd definitely recommend getting one <laughs> Guys, if you come this way, we're in Croc territory and we're going to show you a massive boost of back in the 20th century when dinosaurs existed. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Yeah, right now you won't be able to see them just because they're sleeping. But later on, geez, the crocky they come out. Late at night. See that bird there? He's a goner. Alright, we'll get a big because I want to see some action. <laughs> Sip severe. Yeah, let me tell you, it's one of our top spots, top camp spots so far in Australia. There's creeks, there's the ocean, there's crocs, there's fish. Oh, we haven't caught any fish, but the people beside us caught a fish about yay big. <laughs> Probably about that big to be honest. But no, it was way bigger than that. It was huge. Awesome campsite, free of charge, and there's heaps of young people here, so... You know, crack a beer, meet some new friends, and yeah, have a good time. There's so many flies here, and they're all on Nathan's back. All right, we have a secret. We're going to Bali in 30 days, and then we're doing the Philippines. So, I don't know what's so. <laughs> <laughs> So we're actually hitting the gib in the next couple of days and 
we have to do it fairly quickly because we're heading to Bali in the Philippines for over a month, believe it or not, surprise. Um, so yeah, we're going to stay here for a couple of days and then hopefully do the gib in about a week and a half. Why are we going so to Bali sure. when we've gone to Bali a two months tons. ago and then two months ago before that? Because we have FOMO. Our mates are going to Bali and they've invited us and why wouldn't you? So we're going to be in Darwin. It's a two hour flight, 300 bucks a ticket both ways times two 600 bucks do the mass we'll be there <laughs> cheap flight cheap drinks cheap food and we get to support the indonesian people so yeah 100 super keen for that and yeah over to you beck <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys we'll be hitting the gear pretty soon we cannot wait to start that video and show you all the amazing places we get to and all the campsites we stay at we are doing it fairly quickly but that doesn't mean we're not going to get everything that we want to done so stay tuned for that one guys Puppy came to say hi, and I don't know what her name is. It doesn't say on the collar, but she's so cute. <laughs> Come here! Come on! Go! Oh my god! Hello! Wee! Zoomies! That's it! In the shade. Hi. Me and Nathan really want to get a puppy, but we don't know what breed of dog to get. We're so tall we love golden retrievers, we love border collies, Aussie shepherds, but we just don't know. This border collie is so beautiful and I just, I don't know, but she's not that playful and we sort of want a really cuddly, well not that cuddly, we want a really cuddly dog. And oh, she's about to drive off again. Don't you run after that car. So cute. What's your name? Huh? <laughs> yeah. What's your name? What's your name? Alrighty guys, we're in a new spot now. We've left Bard Creek, it was beautiful. Blue water, heaps of fishing, heaps of sea life. We saw whales, we saw dolphins, even a dingo running on the beach. Um, at the moment, now we are at James Price, and geez, down the red dust, dirt, look good with the blue ocean. We'll get some drone footage and show you what it looks like. You. Little warning as well before I chuck the drone footage up and above is the corrugation was so bad. We put our tyres down to about 20, 25 psi and still a little bit of a, still could feel all the bumps. So if you are going, make sure you put the wheels right down and maybe just cruise slowly over it because yeah, the corrugation was pretty bad. wicked shots on the camera make sure you head to our Instagram to check those ones out but yeah this place is really really epic um, James Price it's so beautiful we've seen some whales out in the distance as well I just fingers crossed we can get them on drone we've been trying so hard to get the whales on drone but they always piss off by the time we get over there so 
fingers crossed but yeah such a sick free campsite this side of western australia has the best free campsites so you honestly have no trouble finding places along here and finding the coolest spots so yeah would recommend guys Hello. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 